pitfalls to avoid in quantitative ability. I mean, what should you what should you definitely avoid? Uh, reading the question incomplete. About about sixty percent of my errors in quant question that I've gotten wrong, not the ones that I've skipped, not the ones that I don't know, ones that I've gotten wrong, are the ones where I have uh, not noticed a less than or equal to, not noticed a distinct natural number part, not noticed positive real numbers, and not not registering some part of the question which is a serious uh, criterion that I overlook. So I'll get four solutions instead of two, or two instead of four, and that's a very uh, uh, easy error uh, to, to fall into. That's something to look to avoid. Be very very clear about. Second thing that 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 extension of this is uh, being too quick in algebra and cancelling and ignoring x equal to zero, ignoring that mod x. I have to think about two different solutions. That set of things to to keep in mind. At a strategic level, what is a pitfall? Uh, some people go in with a narrower range of topics. You tell yourself, okay, I'm going to attack arithmetic and algebra. I'm not going to touch geometry. I'm not going to touch number system, which is fine. You can have a route to success within this. 99.3 is tough. Getting 97 is very much possible. Right? But when you do that, sometimes this happens very frequently. There is this pressure to get everything right and to attempt everything in your narrow range of topics. So your decision making becomes weird. I've seen this happen way too frequently. Some speed time distance questions are stinkers. Absolute stinkers. They'll take four minutes for the standout genius. And so, so those are the questions that you say, look, that's a big story, I'm not touching this, and carry on to do other questions. Suppose there were a person who was very comfortable across mathematics, you're going to look at the speed time distance and say, look, I have easier marks in functions, I have easier marks in trigonometry, I have easier marks in permutation combination. But if you have narrowed down your topic, there is a feeling that you have to get this right and you get suckered into the really bad question. So even if your topic range is narrow, have confidence and have faith and say, hey, I'm not going to do this. Maybe I'll come back to this, but not in round one. So when you have a narrow range of topics, there's an internal dialogue that goes in your head that says, I need to get everything in these topics right, everything in arithmetic right. I cannot afford to lose out. I'm already attempting only 50% of the paper. All that is fine. Be that as it may. You have to say, look, I'm not getting drawn into the really tricky parts of this. It doesn't come, I'll leave this. I will have my key mark, my free marks available elsewhere. should have that confidence to do that. The decision making has to be very sound here. Best wishes for cat.